Welcome everybody, happy Friday! This is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube. And this is Forex Trading for Beginners. Our goal for you is to become consistently profitable, minimum 3 months, knowing when, how and why you make and or lose money. You should not be allowed to trade with real money until you reach the goal. What is the goal to become consistently profitable? If you are not going to listen to us, here is the risk disclaimer, don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose and the webinars are not investment advice, they are for educational purposes only. Your job is to question everything and don't be fooled after you understand and master all these things. The technical stuff, trading is 80% emotional and only 20% technical. So in order to be successful at trading you need to have your mind and your heart in the right place. Remember, if being consistently profitable is difficult, you probably still have things to learn and if your way is not working, why don't you try ours? Remember, 90% of traders who makes it, makes it between the 3rd and the 5th year. For additional coaching or training or questions, you have the Gmail, the Skype contact and the LinkedIn contact. Okay, so that being said, we are not going to use J4X because Eddington, if you are there, I cannot enter. As it, so we are going to use the what's it called? Trading View, right? Trading View. Dot com. J4X is not working this today, so okay. Sign in, sign in, just sign in, maybe. I don't know, sign in, maybe here, oh, www.tradingview.com, let me see, okay, ticker, Eurocat, let me see if it's going to open, Eurocat, stay on current version, Eurocat, chart, market, scripts, charts, here, there you go. Yes, yes, yes. So we are on trading view right now. And Eurocad, right? Eurocad, you have Forex, FXCM, whatever, Wanda. Let's go the first one, FXCM. Eurocad daily chart, we are going to minimize this on the right and compress the chart ok, let me see if I can move it left right there you go, let's compress the chart and text, so what is the topic of today? stop loss and take profit in the market structure ok, great so one of the biggest problems everybody for the beginner trader is oh passion i was stopped out i was stopped out the market stopped me out oh the stops right where to put the correct stops is challenging many times so we're going to talk about stops but let's talk about the first money management rule and let's color code this in black okay this is the rule money management rule rule you must always always this is the rule everybody if you risk one you must always always try to get two this is a rule everybody okay in other words if you are going to risk one pip or one percent of your account your profit, your profit target must, it's a must everybody, it's a rule, must be two pips, two pips or two percent, 
it's just an example it's a rule this is a non-negotiable rule everybody this is a rule if you risk one you must always try to get two and okay try to get minimum minimum two okay in other words if you are going to risk one pip or one percent of your account your profit target must be minimum this is a minimum it's a must minimum minimum two pips or two percent okay this is a rule no negotiable rule no negotiable everybody you cannot oh I'm going one for one and a half no this is a minimum one for two and of course we have some scalpers you know I have some friends traders scalpers which they don't agree with me and said oh I'm I'm a scalper I'm going for one for one I'm scalping the candlestick formations and I'm going for one for one and I don't agree with you passion and I said okay no problem no problem if you don't agree with me you know no <laughs> nobody's perfect right and <clears throat> but it's common sense everybody let's say that you have let's say that you have let's say that you have two traders two scalpers and one is scalping one for one and the other is scalping one per two which one do you think is going to be more profitable the scalper that is scalping one for one and is saying oh passion I don't agree with you or the scalper they have the same strategy or the scalper that it's scalping one per two which one is going to be more profitable? What do you think, everybody? Which scalper, <coughs> right, or swing trader or day trader, whatever, if you are trading one per one, if you are risking one to get one, and if you are risking one to get two, which one is going to be more profitable? And of course the answer is... Yes, correct Miguel, the second scalper is going to be more profitable, okay? So this is about targets right now and let's talk about stops. So next week, as we said so many times, we are entering in the so-called trading week we are not going to learn about concepts and nothing so this is the chart eurocad eurocad okay now this is the chart let me see let me check this is eurocad daily chart and we said right that back up in here back up in here this was the down trend line right down trend line until 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 here right this was our down trend line on eurocad daily chart okay so let's color code this in a little bit and black correct a little bit more okay there you go so and we defined right we defined that our market structure was this was the low high low so this is the low market structure on the daily chart and this was the high and this was the low this is the structure of the downtrend highs low highs low lower, lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs right no audio, no image working for me. Refresh Miguel, you have JForex issues. Uh, Eddington, I cannot uh, enter JForex, so that's why we are on Eurocad. And Eddington, I was talking about before with you uh, where is the correlation between pairs? Where is the correlation between pairs? Right? 
I said in theory the correlation is okay, but in practice I don't believe in the correlation. It's just my opinion. So I wanted to show you two pairs with the same currency going in exactly in the different. I didn't see. I didn't see Skype. I was on the webinar. Okay. So, okay, let's talk about entries and exits, right? So, the money management rule is clear, yes? If you are going to risk one, you need to go after minimum two. Okay, so let's say that you don't have the crystal ball, right? But you know what is structure and finally here, the market broke structure high so we we are officially in an uptrend okay so what what else can we do when we can draw an uptrend line like this we can draw an uptrend line and line red this is our uptrend line, right? And the market broke structure, structure high. And let's say that the next, because of course we could trade the uptrend before, right? But let's start from in here because it's the same concept. The same concepts apply. So, funny guy, <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's see the market broke right so the next is going to be our trade let's try to zoom in in the chart zoom in the chart and let's see what is happening right now we still we have this up trend line right trend line and the market retraced right so let's say that we are going to enter we are going to enter in here we see a retracement short retracement here on the right side okay let's zoom in the chart so we see this retracement we are going to draw a counter trend line break I mean a counter trend line and we are going to enter this trade now what do you think everybody this is the live market is just an example okay what do you think where should your stop loss go and i'm going to give you a few examples because you cannot draw on the chart stop loss number one 10 pips below the below the the low 10 pips below the low Okay, next what can we do? We can address structure for the uptrend, right? We are going to delete this, cancel, uh, hide, remove, remove and remove, okay? So let's draw structure, high if you want, right? Low, higher high. higher low and let's move on let's move on let's move on so higher high if you want higher low right higher high and slowly slowly where are we okay this was structure higher low finally higher high again and the next is going to be our where are we we are here right so higher low and higher high we are here right now so the first stop loss is this one let's do it bigger and okay this is the first stop loss. It's 10 pips or 100 pets uh, below our entry. Stop loss number two, if you want, is 10 or 100 pips 
10, uh, 100 pipettes, 10 pips below the structure, structure low. Okay, right? And the third, if you want, is 100 pipettes or 10 pips below the trend line, which is also, can you can use trend line to determine your stops. Teacher Eddington, Teacher Miguel, which one would you use? Would you use the first one? The first stop, would you use the second stop or would you use the third stop? Which one? And why? So this is stop number one. This is here, it's stop number two. And text, this is stop number three. Which one would you use as a stop loss level? Okay. Remember, there is no right or wrong, just different ways, different strategies, right? Miguel says the first one, and Eddington says the structure. Okay, Miguel, why the first one and not the second? Eddington, why the second and not the first one? And Eddington is saying because at that point it would indicate a change in trend. Until then it remains in an uptrend. Congratulations Eddington, great technical answer. Yes sir. Miguel, why would you use the first one and not the second one? There is no right or wrong, right? Because as a beginner I have to use a lower capital. <coughs> Well, let's, we have this conversation last year and we are not clear on this one. Miguel, I'm going to just, I'm going to show you graphically, okay? I'm going to show you graphically if I can, where, where is the brush? Okay, Miguel, this stop loss from your entry, this could be Please sign up. I don't want to continue. To continue working, uh, free. Come on. Okay. So username FX Passion. FX Passion. Email Education. FX Passion. Gmail dot com. Password six six five five four four. Okay, I'm not a robot. Sign up. Oh, come on. Traffic lights. Traffic lights. Traffic lights. Verify. Maybe. Okay, sign up. Come on, come on, come on. A lower position size. Sign up. Not working, huh? J Forex doesn't work. Trading view doesn't work. Well, it's Friday, so it's okay. <laughs> oh man, <coughs> it's Friday, so it's okay. Doesn't work. What else can we do? Let me see. Okay, I maybe I can refresh. Refresh, refresh. You're a cat. Okay, we are here, right? We are back in the game. Eurocat daily chart, where is our trade? Up here, I believe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Just. Where is our trade? Lower, low, up here. Okay. They just. It doesn't matter. Okay. So let's go back again. This was our up trend line. And we. Where is it? Where was it? Here. Our trade was here exactly. Our trade was exactly here. This was our trade. Right? Counter trend line. And we said that. Hide for now. And we said that we have structure, right? This was the structure 
high structure low right higher highs lower lows lower highs higher highs higher lows structure and we had three different stops so the first one was here okay and the second one which was adding downs was below the structure low which is okay <coughs> well you can reduce adding uh, Miguel Eddington is saying well you can reduce your lot size so that your investment is lower a lower position size you may suffer loss after loss with that strategy yes sir I agree I should not use more than 20 pips from the entry from my stop loss yikes that is an arbitrary stop strategy dangerous I agree I use only 1000 units every trade it makes no sense to use a higher amount of pips in the stop loss it shouldn't not be related to your entry but rather than indicators on the chart lows and structure on trend obviously go for less profit Miguel how does your unit size have anything to do to do with your pip stop yes sir yes sir so what I was trying to tell you Miguel Eddington is better with English so if you can help me Eddington this if this is the entry so this could be 1% of risk of your trading capital but if you enter with a small lot size or smaller volume also all of this can represent only 1% of your capital it's the same risk okay and everybody there is no rule but I'm telling you the, of course there is no right or wrong but the worst okay I'm online everybody can see it okay FX passions opinion I hope it's correct in English the worst stop loss level is a numeric numeric level okay in money or percentages or pips okay this is my opinion everybody the worst top levels is a numeric level because if you have problems, if you're a beginner trader and you have problems, the market stops you out, stops you out, stops you out, and you are asking, well, well, well man, I'm working like a horse and I'm do I don't get any success. Of course, of course. Of course. 1% is too much for a risk. Okay, Miguel, it, you, can, you can have half percent, whatever. But it's the same risk between you can use the same risk between your stops and Eddington stop okay everybody listen to me your stop must have a technical reason your stop must have a technical reason let's write this down this is a concept concept about stops stop loss your stop loss order must have a technical reason okay this is a concept okay and again this is fx passions opinion because if you take a book f from one doctor or whatever, he's no, it's one uh, percent, it's fifty. Well, a lot of theory works in the stock market, but it doesn't work in the forex market. Everybody, a lot of theories and strategies work. Maybe I'm missing an N with opinion. A lot of stop loss strategies and books and concepts work in the stock market they don't work in the forex market everybody 
producer lot size even more on a 1000 10000 lot size 100 pip is 1% risk but on 5000 lot size only 5 of your account okay you do you <laughs> Eddington if you can explain I would be very grateful maybe you two can catch up later on Skype and talk about this okay Miguel and everybody else if you want to learn something your stop-loss order must have a technical reason not a numerical a technical Eddington stop-loss has a technical reason right Eddington says well this is the structure and uh, if the market breaks the structure then this signals a potential trend reversal this is a technical reason to put the stop loss down here if I ask you Miguel why did you put your stop loss here and and I'm asking you tell me a technical reason Miguel not a numerical reason a technical reason Yes, it's too hard to explain by the tech. Maybe you two can catch up later, Miguel and Eddington, on Skype, right? And Miguel, <coughs> you are not allowed to trade with real money until you reach the three months goal. No, no losing months in between. Okay okay let's move on so there is no right or wrong you have the first stop losses up here right and the second stop loss is down here second stop loss is down here so if you're a beginner trader and if you are going to listen to me you are going to go with the second stop loss okay not the first one but the second passion why well because you want to give space to the market to breathe right oh but I want a small stop loss it's the same small stop loss it's the same not maybe not in points maybe not in pips but if you understand volume or size you can risk the same amount of pips and money okay and one more thing everybody one more thing this is a this is a mind trap mind trap mind trap be conscious conscious that small losses are still 1L right losses is it correct my English I hope yes this is a mind trap everybody if you're a beginner trader oh I want to risk uh, 50 pips you know 50 pips times 10 well you are down 500 pips because you put your stop loss in the wrong technical level everybody this concept I cannot stress this enough this is so important this concept about the stop loss your stop loss order must have a technical reason not a numerical reason not that numerical reason is bad but you need to know if the market is going to stop you out why on the other side you need to be conscious about the mind trap oh I w if I'm going to lose I'm going I want to lose small right doesn't work that way you have a pip 50 pip numerical stop loss f times 10 you are down 500 pips forex market the forex market doesn't work that way everybody try to understand this okay okay let's trade we are in the trade let's see what's going to happen the market went up it went up so this is our this is the our counter trend line let me see let me see 
to be fair, right? Just to be fair. So, what happened in here, everybody? To be fair, using the technicals. What happened here? Right? We entered here. We entered here, most likely, full body candle. Right? So, one, one per two, right? We said if we are going to risk one, we need two. So let's let's delete this one. Remove and remove and remove. So long position, okay? So this was this was Miguel's stop loss here, and just graphically, we don't need to count. This was Miguel's stop loss and Miguel's take profit come on it's playing with me one for two graphically something like this what happened did the market hit did the market hit Miguel's take profit exactly passion even worse is the concept of only willing to lose five pips per trade <laughs> yes <laughs> With such a tight stop, you will lose more more often than not. And if it's easy to have 100 losers, loser trades in a row again, equaling five. Yes, 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 correct. Miguel, do you see what I'm trying to teach you? The market hit your stop loss, the numerical one. Okay. Why? Why is that? Well, there is no technical reason not to okay or if you want a technical reason we can try to the trend line is also far 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 away right so Miguel if you are a teacher if you are teaching your students and your student in, in, is asking you teacher Miguel why why did you put stop loss down here and you are going to say well uh, because I don't want to risk more than 50 pips or 20 pips or 5 pips but your student is going to ask well so what so what concepts everybody right uptrend is making higher highs higher lows structure and trend line is a tool that confirms the trend right so until here the market can play around going up and down up and down retracement extensions down retracement up extension but until it hits until it breaks this structure lower i mean higher low we are still in an uptrend okay that's why numerical stop losses are the worst and of course i'm just fx passion and i don't have the crystal ball but this is my opinion everybody okay so let's address Eddington stop loss right so Eddington entered in the same spot so here this is Eddington's stop loss so he's again also he he must go one for two right continue oh man again Uh, login, login, right? Login, email, education, fx, passion, gmail.com. What was the password? 665544, right? Oh man, 665544. No, not working. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. What else? Remember me. Forgot password. Ah, it's going to take too long. So let's go back. Eurocad back again. That's annoying. Yes, it is. Believe me. That's 
I'm going to install a different, I didn't install it, but I have other charting softwares, right? I have, oh, we have one more, but this is like, we start in here, so we start here, right? So we need to be fair to everybody, so highs and lows, and don't bother, it's Friday, it's Friday, right? So this was the counter trend line and this was Miguel stop loss number one and high load your stop loss was here I believe structure structure high structure low structure high structure low right so we are here and we are trying to address Eddington's Eddington so entered here somewhere in here and this is going to be the stop loss Eddington's 142 let's see if we can manage 142 right and no we didn't get to 142 I believe right this is a rule everybody you must go one for two okay so what's the difference in here well we need to we need to obey the money management rules no nego non negotiably okay so what can we do to protect our capital and to let our profits run okay where is the trend line up trend line in here and in here maybe let's compress the chart this is the uptrend line like this okay complain that you use another platform I mean I guess Duca can't complain if they can't keep their platform up and running yes okay so everybody if you if you go with what is what is the lesson here if you go with the structural stop loss you are going to have more space you are going to give more space to the market to breathe okay this is number one number two even if the market stops you out you have a technical reason and you can be okay with this because if the market reverses and stops you out it, that's okay right what is not okay everybody for the beginner trader is if the market stops you out and go back up again this is a common this is a common challenge for the beginner trader right you put your stop loss the market stops you out and what is going to happen in the next moment the market is going to continue to go your way and you are going to be angry and pissed off right oh my my analysis is wrong no your analysis was right you just put your stop loss at the wrong level passion yes sir Oh, passion, but we didn't get the profit one for two. Yes, you are right. So one part are the entries. The other part is the trade management, right? You need to manage your trade. The market was making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. We are going to learn about the cancel and replace technique. Higher highs, right? So what can, what can, and Eddington is saying, that said, you can still take that trade and when you see a structure change, a crown or whatever signal, you can still get out of this trade with a profit if you apply a, yes, 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 sir, exactly, exactly. But we didn't learn, not yet, about the cancel and replace. So for the ones who want to complain, right, that you don't like, uh, a technical stop or oh this is too many pips or points and that Eddington trade didn't get to one for two well what is better to have a loser or to have a small win 
who is going to be a more productive trader at the end of the month one is going to put bread and butter on the table the other one is going to the bank to take a loan which one do you think is the one which one is the other right so trade management everybody Eddington Eddington stop loss is here so let's call a code right now this in green okay green style left okay so what happened well after the entry after the entry it's black it's in here the market stopped out Miguel straight which is okay no problem we are here to learn but the market made a new higher high in here and if you know how to manage your trades after the market makes a new high you can adjust your stop loss so Eddington would put his stop loss in here right 10 pips or 100 pipettes below the most recent low okay then what happened again the market made a low a higher low and then a higher high right so Eddington is just managing the trade I shouldn't mix with this but okay okay this is the new stop loss right until where well until the end until the market was making higher highs and higher lows Eddington was just replacing his stop loss okay and eventually he is going to be stopped out in here or if he went to the higher high higher low yes so this is the higher high higher low if you want and the last higher high up here so eventually Eddington would end up in profit up here right passion if I trade with Miguel stop loss can I re-enter the trade yes you can of course of course yes you can so you would re-enter the new counter trend line break in here right and your stop loss would go would go in here right but I'm telling you this is just one currency pair and just one example numerical stop losses are the worst stop losses in my opinion okay I'm just telling you the truth I don't want you to like me I want you to learn everybody okay and I will be very honest with you right now the problem with the beginner trader is when he is stopped out most likely 80% of the time he is going to be or you are going to be afraid to take another trade why why is that let me see if I'm I know what I'm talking about right the market stopped you out in your first trade here right and the market is going up right now would you or would you not have the courage to enter the trade again 80% of time don't tell me no I've been there you wouldn't have the courage why not because this lower low is going to impact your decision making you are going to be afraid of this lower low don't tell me no everybody you are going to think well the market stopped me out and it's a lower low so this is maybe a up retracement the market is going to fall right I accept to use 20 pip stop loss but 50 or 60 is too much for me Miguel you know I like you you know I consider you my friend you are not I'm going to maybe it's going to be hard for you to accept you are going to have a hard time being a successful trader on the Forex if you are go just with numerical stops Miguel okay you know I like you Miguel you know we are friends but you are going to have a hard time 
I know traders who are not successful for years because they are stubborn and stubborn and stubborn and they are using just numerical stops. So if you want a suggestion, stop using 20 pips, 50 pips, start using technical reasons. Okay, it's just a suggestion. Try to understand that you need to leave the market to breathe because the market is waving. And Miguel, you already know the Fibonacci, right? So why would you use a 20 or 50 pip stop if you know the Fibonacci sequence? And you know that the most, the safer stop loss is below or above the capital A. Try to study this stuff or just you can do like this don't believe me just open another demo account and the same way you are going to put your stop loss 20 or 50 pips below or above try to put your stop loss where do you have a technical reason and I promise you Miguel in three months you are going to see a different picture you are going to see the equity curve from your numerical stops and you are going to see the equity curve from the technical stops and Eddington is saying 50 or 60 is irrelevant if you reduce your lot size Miguel yes sir Eddington if you can connect with Miguel and try to explain this I would be very grateful to you okay so this was the uptrend this was the uptrend right now we have 10 more minutes in the same way we would trade the downtrend right okay but when the time is going to pass you are going to have a different structure on the eurocad okay so this is this was back in time but in some point in time the structure of the eurocad is going to be different right we need to adjust our structure so this is now the structure remove so this is now the structure right and you can draw an uptrend line okay uptrend line and as you see everybody okay do we agree that this is structure right now do we agree that in the long run you would see this picture and you would see the difference between highs and lows and you would have this structure do we agree okay so <clears throat> you know that this is structure right you don't have the crystal ball so let's make a difficult example what you can monitor well you can monitor you know the three trend lines right so you can go with the medium term or inner trend line so let me see a retracement a retracement a retracement okay so this is the medium term the inner trend line and you have a retracement in here okay so let's monitor the retracement retracement okay counter trend line break maybe 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 not so sure not so sure okay right now so again everybody stop loss number one 10 pips below the most recent low stop loss number one stop loss number two everybody and there is no right or wrong right stop loss number two 10 pips below the inner or the medium term trend line and stop loss number three okay they are again please up to sign up stop loss number three we have a few more minutes would be below the 
what you are seeing the long structure uptrend line so teacher me I'm not going to re-enter again because it's a waste of time teacher me given teacher Eddington where would you put your stop loss number one number two or number three I didn't draw because the trading view stopped me out the stop loss number three would be below the long up structure trend line where would you put your stop loss and again why there and not some other place what do you think Sorry, I do not see the screen. Well, the screen is frozen because you have this please sign up to continue, but you have the two lines. Miguel, you have the two horizontal lines, the red ones. You have a counter trend line break and the first line is 10 pips uh, below the most recent low and the next is 10 pips below the inner or the sh medium term uptrend line and the third stop would be below the long-term structural uptrend line Eddington says too, the same reason as before audio gone okay Eddington why why stop number two and why not stop number three why stop number two and why not stop number three which I didn't draw because trading view stopped me out right now but it's okay today is Friday right don't be stressed everybody when these things happens pop a beer and relax you have other platforms air charting softwares and laptops so no problem <coughs> Eddington why stop loss number two and why not stop loss number three we are almost out of the time same reason it's in an uptrend and if it breaks below that structure low it will indicate a trend change no sir no sir no sir no sir you were right before but <laughs> not right now no sir Okay, we have just a few more. Let me try to find our. No, sir. This is not. This was not structure. This was just. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. So structure is this. This is structure. Structure high. Structure low. And you have the overall long uptrend structure long uptrend line structure yes sir but you are wrong when you say that this is going to break structure it's not the market must break this one to break the structure this trend line or this low structure low not the inner structure this would be incorrect yes you're correct oh man I need to text some, somebody <laughs> okay so in the end everybody between the three different stops the right this was the inner trend line in this example right this was the inner trend line or I mean the short term right this was our counter trend line break in here and the red is our inner or the so-called uh, medium term trend line so if you have your stop loss what happened right here the market would stop you out right and go back up again so of course in the end it's all what Miguel is not totally wrong everybody Miguel is not 
totally wrong. In the end, it also depends on how much capital, how much trading capital you have. But this, this doesn't change the fact that the most secure, the most secure stop loss, the safest place, because this is structured, that, that's why the safest place would be in here, down here. This would be the safest place. Look at this. If you had the chance to put your stops always below the structural uptrend line, would the market stop you out? Would the market stop you out? No, it wouldn't, right? This is why structure is so important. If you would put your stop loss in here, trends inside trends and inner structure and what else, I don't know. Would the market stop you out? Most likely 80% of the time, right? Okay, everybody, this is it for today. Happy Friday. Let's enjoy our weekend. See you back on Monday. Stay strong. I'm not going to say trade with passion because it's Friday, but we're going back to be back on Monday starting with the trading week. We are going to search for trades. Until Monday, everybody, enjoy. This is FX Passion signing off.